The U.S. Coast Guard cutter Bear has returned to Hampton Roads this morning. As families reunited, crew members celebrated a memorable deployment. Ten on your side, Haley Mylon has the story. The U.S. Coast Guard's Cutter Bear sailed more than 10,000 miles during its 74-day deployment, and the ship's brand-new captain, Commander Brooke Millard, says the expedition marks an exciting time for the Coast Guard. I think it's significant in the fact that the Coast Guard's becoming more expeditionary. The Cutter Bear going far north, grazing the edge of the Arctic Circle. We're going a little bit further than we've gone before in order to support our partners and allies. The crew participating in joint naval exercises with the French, Italian, and Dutch navies. Cooperation that Millard says shows the resolve of NATO amid a tense global climate. Maritime governance and international frameworks are being threatened, and it's important for us to be out there, uh, present in the high seas, and support our international partners and allies. Millard, a 20-year Coast Guard veteran, taking over the helm of the Cutter Bear for the first time this deployment. I felt it was like this is a culmination of uh, being able to take this crew to, to the Arctic and beyond. Far beyond, from hosting dignitaries to ensuring fishing company compliance with international regulations. But for Ensign Richard Rodriguez, Isn't that something worth coming home for? The highlight came when he got a call from home. I heard while we were back in Greenland that uh, he was born. So I came running off the bra as soon as I could. And just touch his cute little face. He's got the nicest little cheeks. And one more highlight, participating in Operation Nanook, an elite Canadian armed services exercise. I'm Haley Mylon, 10 on your side.